Since the beginning, our greatest structures have been sacred. This is the most important building for most everyone. Years, decades, even centuries were spent to build permanent monuments to something larger than ourselves. You know, it's stone. It's not going anywhere. It's carved stone. Our churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples were designed to communicate the biggest ideas. In architecture, when it's well done, you are never far from someone delivering a message. And you can stand there and study that glass and learn a lot about the African-American experience. This is where the greatest artisans showcased their talent. And so all through the day, the light changes and the quality of the space changes with the light. Over time, engineers and architects pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Medieval architects knew that spaces affect people. Contemporary architects know that. These buildings became the place where we gathered to form community. In the African-American community, that was the place where we could go to be our full selves. But these places of sacred architecture are so that people can gather and collectively connect with the divine. Embedded in these structures is a secret language, a message that's visible everywhere if you know where to look. So it's this mysterious language that's going on, and oh my goodness, you are in another world. Unlocking the code, the hidden language of sacred architecture offers surprising insights. It becomes one of the most exciting set of investigations that we've done as, as people. That's crazy. It's so good though, right? Secrets of Sacred Architecture.